We are going to be doing three stack slate fears with a little pondless waterfall to boot. We put liner over top of the aqua blocks. Now we are going to do a bib liner over the top of the reservoir so we can pull that waterfall forward and get us more of a stream effect coming off or down in front of that waterfall, giving it the illusion that the water is disappearing underneath the deck. So from the viewing angle, let me get up here. Now I want to be able to see through the spindles underneath the bottom of that bench kind of where Jack's leg is. And I want to be able to see that waterfall and everything kind of disappear down below that. So that little area right there from the top of the deck to the bottom of the bench, I still want to be able to get a profile of that water as it comes down. Again, taking into account all the different viewing angles. We'll have a love seat over here. We've got a high top table sitting right here, which will look really, really nice. And then of course we have all of the windows along the back side of the house is going to look down. So. What is up everybody, Chris from Team Aquascape. The gang and I are out here today in beautiful Naperville, Illinois. I'm standing in front of the canvas for the day and we are going to be doing three stack slate fears with a little pondless waterfall to boot. So like I said, we have a pondless waterfall today. It is going in this location here. I am standing on what is a lower portion of a deck and there's the upper portion and then we have a beautiful home, all big windows. So the viewing angles are really the entirety of the inside of the house as well as this gathering space up here as well down here at the fire pit area so we have to move this crab apple for the time being and then we'll work it into the berm as we're working our way out but you can see there's a white line delineating the back edge of our berm this is going to be the area where the reservoir sits right down in here we'll have a large sack slate sphere medium sphere and then we also have a small sphere that we're going to be incorporating into the feature hopefully if we feel like it's too much we may eliminate the small sphere and just opt for the large and the medium we're just going to kind of wait and see we have six tons of granite bowl is being delivered and a couple of extra yards of dirt as well so we want to create the illusion that that water disappears underneath the deck so we'll get that reservoir nice and tight up into here six small blocks we've got a pump vault we have a variable speed pump and uh yeah it should be pretty cool we've got an existing landscape bed that we're working into these plants are all going to stay but we're, first order of business is to strip all the grass go ahead and get our reservoir laid out get the crab apple moved over go ahead and start digging that reservoir in and then start building our berm and then fabric liner and then spheres and waterfalls so pretty simple today we're hoping that the rain holds out it's a little bit of overcast i don't know if you guys can make out the clouds but it's a little gray today so we'll see how we can do and uh, we're gonna give it the old college try let's go all right so when you got two three four five six and a half working on a project you make light work of things so many hands make light work so you can see we've got that crab apple now move now the next step is going to be stripping this sod out of here getting that in the back of the truck and then we are also going to lay out our reservoir at the exact same time hopefully we'll be able to reuse that crab apple somewhere in the berm to help frame out some of these spheres i think something of that size structure will lend itself really nicely to the overall design so strip out grass get the reservoir in So we've got a majority of the sod stripped out of here. Oh, that sod cutter and the gang guys made light work of it. You've got Jonathan and Luis over here just pulling out some of the last scraps, some of that weed mass that was in here. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our aqua block panels here to go ahead and spot that basin while they're finishing that up. We'll get that sprayed out. We'll have a few guys digging while the rest of the guys are building aqua blocks. So pretty quick when people know what the heck they're doing. So Rock has finally shown up, which was we were waiting on to get to this point. We've set a couple boulders in there. Those are gonna be some frame rocks for a waterfalls that begins back up in there. We're gonna put the small sphere back behind Jack, but what I wanted to illustrate is we have two teams of three working on plumbing up the respective large over here on the left, and then the medium sphere. Again, the small one's gonna go in back, and then we will probably start off that waterfalls with a little spillway underneath as well. So we're gonna have four different pipes all coming off of the one four to seven pump. 
pump. So we're gonna have a series of ball valves and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be an interesting kind of spider web. So we're trying to be, I guess, forward thinking and proactive with how we are plumbing these things. So it's really the infrastructure of the plumbing that's taking the most time and figuring out where everything's gonna sit. Remember, we wanna capitalize viewing angles and lines of sight from all over the backside of the house and the upper deck, the lower deck. So we spent half an hour or so with the homeowner strategically placing these, going in and out of the house to make sure that they were able to see as much as they possibly could. Now they've got their stand pipes, which is that rigid two inch PVC sticking straight up. And we are gonna go ahead and start filling with cobbles to give them some weight on the inside, get them level front to back, side to side, and just start locking these things up so they're nice and secure. One thing I wanted to show you is really nestled boulders. So I found a handful of rocks that actually had these concave cuts in the boulders. Now that was just man-made, that was the way they were poured. You can see this one right here has kind of a semi-circle and it kind of tapers down. So it nestles into the bottom of that sphere super, super well. I guess a little bit more natural and more thought out rather than putting a big blocky rock next to something that's more of a spherical shape. So we've got Luis, Jonathan, and Jack over here. You can see this is what it looks like when they're filling with cobbles. Jack, you wanna make sure that this thing stays in the center. And then they're gonna start doing the same thing over here. We also are gonna be running our light cables out through that little notch that we cut out at the bottom. You can see we've got the two inch flex pipe running out the back and then we're just gonna run all of our plumbing, I guess around this way and figure out a nice area for those ball valves and manifolds to sit in some place that it's convenient. Also, if you look behind me, you'll see that we put liner over top of the aqua blocks. Now we are going to do a bib liner over the top of the reservoir so we can pull that waterfall forward and get us more of a stream effect coming off or down in front of that waterfall, giving it the illusion that the water is disappearing underneath the deck. So from the viewing angle, let me get up here. There is going to be a love seat that sits up here and I'm a little bit high, so I'm gonna hold the camera down. Now, I want to be able to see through the spindles underneath the bottom of that bench kind of where Jack's leg is. And I want to be able to see that waterfall and everything kind of disappeared down below that. So that little area right there from the top of the deck to the bottom of the bench, I still want to be able to get a profile of that water as it comes down. Again, taking into account all the different viewing angles. We'll have a love seat over here. We've got a high top table sitting right here, which will look really, really nice. And then of course we have all of the windows along the backside of the house that's going to look down. So that was also why it was important to do the big in the medium spheres to give a little bit more verticality to it, to give a little bit more height to the water feature. But the guys are doing a fantastic job. We are going to, even with the hiccup of the rock being a little bit delayed this morning, we should still be okay as long as the weather holds out. It was raining this morning. Hopefully we'll be in good shape. So really, really fun fountainscape. I'm so excited to be doing it and uh, to start the, our week off, which is a Monday here in YouTube land for us. So we are ready to rock and roll. What's up everybody? I am standing in front of our finished fountainscape. I've got Jack over here who helped me button things up. You can see we planted that crab apple back behind us and then just did a couple detail works. We added some aquatic plants this morning, but this is a wrap folks. It looks absolutely stunning. We were able to capture all of the viewing angles inside the house as well as outside the house from that upper deck, the lower deck fire pit area. We were able to pull off the waterfall and stream disappearing into the gravel very close to the deck so that when you're up there sitting in that high top, you can actually see underneath and you get this view underneath this seat wall bench that I'm sitting on and you'll be able to see that entire waterfalls from up top. It looks absolutely stunning. I just really happy with how it turned out. I love these little fountainscapes. Very minimal rock inside of the water feature itself. More cobbles and some gravel landslide wash areas. Most of that five and a half six tons of rock that we had out here we actually used a retaining wall around the back side just to elevate that berm and hold all that dirt back. Right underneath this gravel area is where our pump fault sits. We have 
have six small aqua blocks sitting in this area. We did a bib liner over the whole thing in order to get that stream effect carrying all the way over to about 18 inches or so from the deck. So it's actually disappearing down into the aqua blocks. Those aqua blocks came almost all the way up to the deck. As you can see, the waterfalls is very, very simple. We've got, you know, kind of one rock down through here, another one there, another one there, maybe six, seven rocks total. And then we just kind of let the Texas spheres kind of frame everything out. We've got a 12 inch spillway buried all the way back in there. You can see we've got a handful of aquatic plants planted in throughout. We've got a lot of marginals. We've got some irises. We've got some creeping Jenny along the back, which will look great as that stuff starts to cascade out over top of the rock and gravel and get some vertical element over here without taking away from the sphere collection. We lit everything up. We've got two watt color changing lights in all of the three spheres. We also have three surrounding the spheres. We've got one here, one in that pooling area, and then we also have one back over there shining up on that. Very, very neat effect at light. The customer was super stoked knowing that they could control everything from the app on their phone. So meaning the pump and the lights as well. Going back to the pump vault, we have our four to seven SLD variable speed pump in here. It is connected to a two inch union. There's a two inch trunk line that runs out this way. All of the two inch line going to these spheres, the one going to the medium was probably the most difficult to disguise, comes back behind these frame rocks. We doubled up that liner. So all the plumbing is actually inside the liner. That trunk line coming from the pump goes this way. There's two ball valves back behind this large sphere here. And then another two going to the spillway into the small sphere. So we're able to manipulate and control everything and to be a nice even flow while not taking anything away from this little waterfalls that we built. Guys, it was a really fun project. Um, there were a couple head scratching moments, but I love that part of our job is kind of creative solutions on the fly out here while keeping everything artistic. So really, really happy with how everything turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions on how this thing went together. Take a look at the foreman notes. And if you loved it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down, but make sure you let us know why and how we could improve. Again, Chris from Team Aquascape, make sure you tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for all the new Team Aquascape content. And until next time, sayonara.